Hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting teaser session. It's another Sunday and I thought it's a good time to go over some of the upcoming tutorials that I'm going to be teaching you guys in next week. So next week I thought I'm going to be focusing on uh, teaching you some of the tricks and tips and techniques to create these cool animations. So in the first uh, tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create this kind of cool animation and you can see that there is a nice glowing that is happening uh, on this animation. The second tutorial that I want to go through is actually this cool flipping paper effect as you can see here. You could use it in loadings or whatever and specifically I'm going to be talking about how to utilize CSS preprocessors and uh, some of those techniques within them that are developed in order to create these kind of effects, right? So for example, just to, just to give you a heads up, you can see that I am actually using math functions to kind of recreate this kind of effect because otherwise it would be very difficult for me to go one by one and create the delay that uh, represents these movements, right? And then finally, I will go over and show you the technique on how to create this kind of loader. Uh, some of you might have seen it. It's the loader on the videos of CNN.com. And as a bonus, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create some other type of loaders based on the same techniques. And what I really wanted to, to talk about right now is that it's very important to kind of focus on learning the CSS and all these uh, transitions and transformations and all the techniques that you can utilize and also the most important thing when it comes to animations is timing so even if you've created a cool animation and with, with, with wrong timings the animation doesn't look right so let me give you an example today I sat down and put some time to create the inbox icon animation from uh, Google inbox and let me just play it for you to see how it looks you see there's this very cool animation and without a correct timing this animation couldn't be as good as it looks like right now and also if you take a look at this this is the photo icon for Google you can see that you pretty much can utilize CSS HTML no JavaScript to create all these cool animations. I had a question of uh, one of our visitors, um, one of our one of my subscribers, that uh, he really wants to learn SVG. So the more important thing actually is to try to create everything using CSS and HTML. And for the things that you really know that are not uh, working, uh, for example, this one. I mean. You can go ahead and create these kind of shapes, kind of very difficult, but using SVG, it's actually taking a lot less to create these kind of things. And it doesn't matter really. It, it really boils down to how much you want to put uh, your time on a project or on a prototype, and also how passionate you are uh, about creating these kind of things. So I hope these tools, these techniques and these tricks that I show you and I teach you, uh, help you create awesome stuff and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so that you get notified of all these cool animations and I wish you a good day and night.